All right. Welcome everyone to the new video. In this uh, video, I'm going to prove uh, why Wilson equation is incapable of representing a liquid-liquid uh, equilibrium. So before that, let's discuss about a criteria on liquid-liquid equilibrium. So it is as follows. What it says is at fixed temperature and uh, pressure, a single phase binary system is stable if and only if delta G, which is the Gibbs free energy of mixing, and its first and second derivatives are continuous functions of x1 which is the mole fraction of species 1 and the second derivative is positive so what this basically says is if the second derivative of uh, gives free energy of mixing with respect to x1 which is the mole fraction of species 1 is greater than 0 in that case we will have a stable single phase if uh, this derivative if the second derivative is less than 0 we will have two phases uh, which could either mean it is uh, partially immiscible or, or it could also mean it is completely immiscible. Now, uh, we know that we have expression that is uh, relating uh, delta G, which is the Gibbs free energy of mixing, and GE, which is the access Gibbs free, access Gibbs free energy. So using this expression over here, we can obtain another equivalent criteria for the stability, which is this. And... Uh, and since the logarithm of uh, activity coefficient of species i is partial molar property of access gives free energy, we can obtain, we can write an uh, summability relation for the activity coefficient. So using this summability relation, we can obtain an equivalent criteria for stability. This is yet another equivalent criteria, which is same as these two, these uh, two criteria over here. So what this criteria says is uh, if the derivative of logarithm of product of mole fraction and activity coefficient 1 with respect to x1 which is the mole fraction of x1 which is the mole fraction of species 1 is greater than 0 we will have a single phase and if it is uh, less than 0 we will have two phases. Now let's talk about uh, the Wilson equation. The Wilson equation is based on a local composition mo uh, model and uh, the molar axis gives free energy is given by this expression. We can also derive an expression for the activity coefficient of species 1 and 2 using the gibbs duhem equation. So why uh, Wilson equation is incapable of representing liquid-liquid equilibrium? Now we know that uh, if this derivative is greater than 0, we will have a single phase. And if this derivative is less than zero, we have two phases. That means uh, it is partially immiscible or it is completely immiscible. Now, as I said before, here I have used uh, the gibbs duhem equation to find the expression for the activity coefficient 1. Here, this expression is obtained from the gibbs duhem equation. Now, we have uh, the gamma 1. The only thing that we are missing is x1, which is the mole fraction of a species 1. So, we can also obtain uh, this mole fraction 1 if we add logarithm of x1 on both sides. So if I add uh, logarithm of x1 on both sides, I can use the property of the logarithm to obtain this uh, ln x1 times gamma 1. So, I, so now I have this ln x1 times gamma 1. Now I need to find the derivative of uh, this expression over here. And then we can compare whether it is greater than zero or it is less than zero. The derivative here looks complicated, but it is not. Uh, it just uses the basic derivative principles. So I will let you guys have a look at this for a while. Uh, and at the end, you will get uh, this result if you have done the calculations right. So have a look at this for a while. So as you can see, the expression here, the expression over here is uh, greater than zero because the mole fractions and the Wilson parameters are non-negative. And if this derivative is greater than zero, it means we will have a stable single phase because it fulfills this stability criterion. So what this actually means is that the Wilson, Wilson equation always predicts complete miscibility, that is single phase. And if you know there is a system with a range of immiscibility, then there is no point of using the Wilson equation. 
Hence, the Wilson equation cannot represent a liquid-liquid equilibrium. Hope you understood the video. Uh, thank you for watching the video.